This here is a tiny fruit fly, which I stuck to a microscope slide using the web of a spider. Here, this is a spider's web under the microscope. It is very sticky, very, very sticky. And I used the spider's web glue to connect now the fruit fly with my microscope slide. I know this is uh, pretty fancy. Hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. And here, of course, let me introduce the spider to you, which donated its web uh, to me. Uh, rather involuntarily, I had to chase the spider away first. Uh, but then I was able to collect uh, a few of the silk, uh, spider silk um, on the microscope slide. And it is a very, very sticky substance, as we're just going to see in a minute. Um, the spider's web under the microscope looks very regular. It's almost like a necklace with uh, with pearls on it. And those uh, yeah, pearls that you see are actually the droplets uh, of glue. And uh, right now the glue actually um, yeah connected with the microscope glass slide and that's why it's kind of not um, quite perfectly round but slightly oval in shape because the glue kind of also spread um, on the microscope slide, kind of illustrating a little bit how sticky it is. Now um, here you see uh, the silk of the spider going crisscross in all different directions um, and uh, this also explains a little bit why some older cobwebs are that dusty and dirty is because all of the dust and the dirt sticks uh, to the spider's web. These are needles of course uh, these are so-called entomological needles in comparison to a regular needle those uh, entomological needles are significantly thinner and I'm going to use those needles now to yeah try to pull a little bit uh, on the spider silk here and uh, this allows you to see how extremely strong um, the spider silk is and how extremely sticky the glue is um, as a matter of fact um, spider silk um, is significantly stronger than steel of of course always in comparison uh, to its thickness and the glue is uh, one of the strongest glues uh, that uh, is known in, in nature as a matter of fact the spider silk is made of a protein and the glue is made of a um, of a um, yeah glycoprotein so there is also some polysaccharide in there but as you can see very effective uh, and it really likes to stick well to the slide I caught a fly and you have to put the fly into the freezer for a few minutes and this causes it to stop moving and that's uh, how you're able to actually then transfer the fly to the spider's web on the microscope slide. You just have a few minutes to do that. You have to be very careful that you don't uh, squeeze the fly too hard. Um, but uh, that is um, actually a good way to make sure that the fly stays alive, but at the same time, it's not able to escape. Yeah, and this is how it looks like. Uh, and after a few minutes under the microscope, uh, yeah, it, it started to move again. Now, one thing that I've done here is, is I actually also used a flashlight to shine light uh, at the fly from the top. And this, um, yeah, is uh, how I I was able to to make uh, these pictures here what is now the fate of this fly you might wonder i tried to remove it again uh, using one of the needles but this was actually a pretty difficult task but uh, yeah no harm done the fly was able to survive but when i tried to pull um, a little bit um, on the yeah silk of the spider you can actually see how extremely sticky it is um, it actually didn't even want to separate from the fly and here you can see that there is still some of the spider this web left uh, on the needle and uh, the fly is still connected and is not able to escape it's trying to crawl away but not very successfully but uh, let me assure you that uh, i was able to manage uh, to free the fly and then it escaped uh, later on well this is not the first time that i'm uh, putting a spider's web under the microscope i already made a video before so you might want to check that video as well. Um, otherwise, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel if you like these type of videos. Yeah, I hope that I was able to motivate you again uh, to try uh, some experimentation using your microscope. Happy microbe hunting as always, and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.